Hello everybody, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with another model review today. Uh, this time I'll be reviewing the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 Air Canada 737 Max 8 in the new livery. So let's get started with the box as usual. Move that over. All right, so you have the typical Gemini Jets box. Gemini Jets made for collectors, two dimensional computerized image, Boeing 737 MAX 8 trademark, Air Canada logo and titles, and of course look inside. So there's your usual as real as it gets features. There's the aircraft and the item number, GJACA1709. There's the barcode and your not suitable for children comment. Um, and then the thing, same thing as the opposite side. On the back, got the aircraft climbing, facebook.com slash Gemini Jets for news, information, things like that. And of course, uh, GeminiJets.com for the latest releases. Uh, speaking of which, will be announced next week. Today is Friday, early Friday morning, so sometime next week. And of course, 2018 release. Open up the flap. There is your typical. Ah, I can't talk. There's your typical 737 Max 8 of uh, program information. Pause if you like to read. And then here's information about this particular aircraft. And again, pause if you like to read. And then here's the bubble where the aircraft would sit. All right. So let's move that to the side. And we'll move the aircraft back over here. All right, so let's do a little bit of focus. Okay. All right, guys, this is a beautiful model. Uh, if you have an Air Canada presence at your airport, highly recommend. You will see why here in a moment. Right here is uh, the nose cone. There's your black anti-glare, the mask which is um, new to this Air Canada delivery. You got uh, the small pitot tubes right there next to the nose cone. Uh, there's a Batman hair, most likely. All right, right here, uh, Star Alliance logo, L1 boarding door. There's the Air Canada logo, Air Canada titles. Do a little focus there. Come down here, very nice detail. If you look on top, there's plenty of detail here. Uh, yellow and red uh, beacons. Right here is your landing light. There's your beautiful engine, the chevrons in the back. You got the outline of the fuel tank right here. Your two overwing exits plus your egress arrows off of the wing. Come back here. Uh, you got the red navigation light. And then right here are your uh, advanced technology winglets uh, with the, you know, for the Max um, 8 aircraft. All right, let's come down here. You have your antenna, which is right here in the midsection of the aircraft. There's your Wi-Fi box. Come down here. Um, there's your rear antenna and some more beacons. You got the Canadian flag, your registration C-FTJV below that below the cabin windows it does say Boeing 737-MAX 8 there is your rear catering door uh, right here your horizontal stabilizers the APU uh, most importantly your new Air Canada logo tail logo the red maple leaf with the black background all right um Turn the aircraft around, you pretty much have everything the same with one or two huge exceptions. There is your forward baggage compartment. There's your aft baggage compartment. On the wing, of course, you have your landing light, but then you have the green navigation light on the end of this wing. But everything else is pretty much the same. Right there, your tail number, 501, I believe. Uh, 501 sounds good to me right here um, well we'll take a look once I flip the aircraft over 
Okay. So, if you try to look real close, it says 501 right there, just like it does on the tail. Okay, nice detail. So, there's the underside of your nose cone. Uh, on some aircraft, it does say like 737 Max, but Air Canada does not have that. There's your red stripe just behind the nose gear. Uh, there's some no uh, underside details near the... That's probably like the latch to open up your baggage compartment. I'm not sure about that side. Come down here, you got the maple leaf on the bottom side of the aircraft. Uh, there's your stripe going across the uh, engines. And then, of course, the under engine detail uh, there on the bottom of the engine. And the, there's the chevrons. Much better view. Here's a nice under wing detail. There's your two main landing gear, uh, stand hole, different things like that. Um, right behind or right underneath the main, oh, and then of course the main gear stowage point. Underneath that you have Gemini Jet's logo, which has gotten smaller over the years and has shifted to different places on the aircraft. Come back here, there of course the uh, different view of your rear baggage compartment. Right here, uh, that big hump, that is to prevent tail strikes in the case of, you know, during takeoff or any other time. Uh, right back here behind that is, sorry, blowing off the Batman hair. There is your um, APU access doors. And then of course the underside of the horizontal stabilizers uh, detail. Not a whole lot to be totally honest. And then there, of course, is your APU exhaust. So guys, uh, actually a really stunning model. I mean, frankly, the Gemini Jets Max mold is stunning all around. This is just, you know, one really large highlight of, of how beautiful the, the mold is. Highly recommend it if you need an Air Canada aircraft um for any airport in the u.s or canada so please guys do me a favor subscribe to uh my two special guests aviation j triple x and um bryce's aviation and siren so thank you guys so much as always for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video Woo!